The goal of this convention, in the words of the head of the United Nations, is to reach a peace pact with nature. Well, that peace pact has a final draft. China is presiding over COP15 and Sunday morning released a proposed text. The challenge now is to get the negotiators from the nations gathered to sign on. This is my 22nd or 23rd COP when you combine climate and bio, uh, biodiversity. I've never seen that before. The text agreement includes the 30 by 30 target. Countries would agree to protect 30% of the globe by 2030. The fact there's agreement on that is being applauded by environmental groups, although some are calling for the text to be more specific. Instead of listing simply land, freshwater and oceans, they want it specified that it's 30% of each. The ocean, they say, is too often ignored. Without a healthy ocean, there is no chance for a healthy planet. The ocean is 70% of our life support system. Another important part of the deal is financial. The text sets a target of $200 billion a year for conservation initiatives. A sticking point in negotiations has been that some developing countries want more wealthy nations to pay a bigger share. Well, environmentalists say $200 billion likely isn't enough. While it is certainly a major increase over past, it doesn't reach the level that we thought is needed and, and finance is critical for implementation. The conference enters its final day Monday with some optimism. There are still details to iron out and close to 200 negotiating teams to get on side, but things do appear to be further along than many predicted going in. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.